Hey guys, uh, someone requested a video about the clamp. And um, I feel no qualifications to do so. But that didn't stop me from putting together a couple examples and having a few words. So I don't think it's going to be much of a video. But it, I might know more about clamps than other people. I don't know. To me, it's just, I don't think, I, mean, I had to look up, what's the clamp, right? It's like, oh, yeah, that's the clamp. I mean, but it's just a tool. It's not something you go out and search for, not something, it's just a tool. And what about the honey? Oh, can you do a video on the honey? It's like, that's just a honey. Okay, so uh, we'll look at a few things. Uh, some of these examples are right off the internet, uh, out of a book. A few are out of my uh, personal games. One that I just played yesterday. So we'll have a look here. Okay. White place here. Uh, you can see the clamp at A. So let's go through stuff. If we cut, Tari, there's some, it's actually worse than that, isn't it? If black goes for the kill, white kills first. So it's just, that's, this is not working for black. How about this one? Still not working. Uh, but the clamp, if we go down, just dead. So here we have an example of the clamp, and sometimes it's just over or under, right? This is a threat to go over or under. If over doesn't work, I'm stating such obvious things, I feel a little silly, and under doesn't work, then you do the over or under. That might be the definition of what is the clamp, how to use it, when do you use it. If over doesn't work, under doesn't work. Do the clamp over or under. We'll see if the rest of the um, examples. Okay, uh, this is the one out of the book. B is the clamp. It's the only move that it it uses up the liberties quickly. You can see if white played here instead, black has sente. And gets extra liberties. So clamp. C over or under, right? White plays C. And if black plays this way, ah, we've got all our stones touching. Now there's no context for these, right? Black plays this way. Oh, the white stones are all touching. And having your stones touch is one of the most basic, you know, that's how you use your stones is to have them touch generally speaking. Um, so any other, other than white C, it's not working. You don't use your stones. I mean, I'm not stating it well, but we see C as a clamp and can start messing with the black stones. A is another example, just in game, right? If black were to approach one step, white just stops him. But the jump, What's white going to do? Come down, then black says Atari. If up, then black does whatever. I mean, it's so A is very, very powerful. Now, to me, these are a bit different from an actual clamp. While our first example. which is there, there's, to me, A and B create the clamp and the single stone, it doesn't have to be a single stone, in the middle. So I imagine a physical clamp that you do with wood, you know, 
metal on one side, metal on the other side, and you squeeze it together. So as tight as it can be, A, B squeezes the white stone as tight as it can be. So clamp. These other endgame ones aren't exactly that. They're very similar to that. And maybe they are that, and I just don't see it. Okay, let's look at some more examples, because those were terrible. Okay, here. This is a game, example game out of a book. Oh, right, 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 right. This comes up all the time in actual play. Okay, uh, and I fall for this all the time. As black, I go, hey, I'm coming into white's territory, and I'm alive. I'm so happy. Oh, I'll play that way, and I'll just connect. There's the clamp, over or under. Now, we're going to see that this is a bad example of the clamp, but still, an obvious clamp, and now we're over or under. So, why don't we like this? This was a famous Nine Dawn game some years back. White sacrifices an extra stone. Capture. Get a couple liberties. We're sacrificing three now. Sente, that can be very useful later. Tari. Black has to take. Black has to take. And in the game, next white played here, attacking black while building a very big top area. So, yes, black got a foothold in area one. Cut it uh, maybe in half. And he himself captured the three stones. But white got a little bit Aji in the corner and all the thickness on the outside all in Sente. Not so good. So, said black should have, and these, now we're off the clamp. We're just looking at, I thought it was interesting, so I'm putting it in there. Uh, black could have played this way instead. And now black gets the full corner, and black has sent it to go play on his center group at one or whatever it's going to be. And then the solution for both was that instead of this all together, do your peep. And now black's unsettled, and white gets to chase. That has nothing to do with the clamp, but they was, it was uh, you know a book example. It's like, oh, that's such a great go position. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this was um, we made a video out of this. Uh, one of my students, actually George, that he's the one behind all this YouTube. Never ever would have begun to happen without him. Um. He plays at uh, two Q level, and could be three, two or three. And so we're doing some reverse Comey games uh, to for him to get a, a certain thing about his game. He needs it's a reverse Comey is a great tool uh, to learn how to play a steady game. Anyway, so he's got forty points before the game starts, and he's black. And here he played away when he should just settle in the bottom left. He was like, well, I don't know how to settle there. Well, the whole point of this is for you to learn to settle there. And again, he can just settle, right? Just settle. There's no problem here. But he's thinking, oh, but now I'm safe. Well true but you gave me an awfully big corner uh we'll be getting up to the clamp before too terribly long not that i actually remember where it is at the moment oh i remember now 
This is a beautiful move. This is a great move. Check it out. Instead of, I mean, I'm not saying this is a bad direction, but giving it up, he gets a dynamic position on the right, working with his corner, and I have to come back and kill the stone, or else he lives there too. And the walleye gets nothing, so I have to. And you start adding on to this, man, 40 points is just like out of reach. But then he plays here. I'm super thick. It's a waste of time to play this close, and he doesn't need defense. So this was a real bad move. And that allows me this, and the clamp's coming soon. Get out of dodge. Get out of dodge. Descend. If I get this move in, it's big for me. It's, I know we're not talking about the clamp at the moment. It def My A and B are both weak. So this white move at C defends both A and C and now puts black, is surrounding black, and the 3 3 clearly has Aji. So I think this was a good move. I have to get out now that I'm behind again, enemy lines. Great move if he followed up. What, this way? Well, I have no next move. I'm not going to tar it. It's getting nothing on the bottom. But instead, he went this way. Allowing me to go over the top. He gets out. Again, he should stabilize his group. And Clamp's coming up soon. He feels he needs a uh, move for defense here. And there's the Clamp. And then a couple of you moan. All of that just for a stupid A-stone? Yeah. The Clamp at A. Uh, check it out. If he says no, sent it a kill. Yikes. There's a lot of Aji here. I didn't read all the Aji out. I don't know how this is going to work. But it certainly feels as though it is going to. I could be wrong. But he bought it. And uh, so I play here. And instead of the connection, right, I have an over or under. He plays one. I threaten to live. And then connect. So really big invasion. I'm getting virtual life. Okay. Example of the of the clamp. And is there any more? We see the there's the, another clamp. This is a very common way to get into the corner. Now, this isn't an example of a game. As a matter of fact, the stones aren't quite right, but we're just getting to the clamp. Uh, if black doesn't defend, now I'm feeling bad. Let's make it this way. Now I feel better. Okay. It's over or under, which is, at the moment, how we, we are defining the clamp. Um, here's the obvious. We go under, and perhaps we do this first, saying, if you split me, I'll just live. If black plays this way, one might ask, what is it about that? Well, that's a pretty serious invasion, reduction, or just make the threats and then do some living regardless. So there's lots of options. You don't have to do over versus under. It creates a lot of options. So that's about all I have on the clamp.
I, I warned you to begin with, I don't have a lot. Never thought about it as the clamp. And we assign a word to it. The one space jump. Tell us all about the one space jump. It's how do you answer that question? It's one space jump. Just a normal tool. So the clamp. A uh, short video, anything we want to do while we're here? Um, just for fun, I'm thinking there might be something. Well, just because we're here. Just because we're here. Let's see if I can remember. Yeah, this is a uh, couple moves to see here. Um, this is a game between Jujo and Paul Hu. I won't go into all the history of it, but it's a extremely interesting game. The, 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 the what's going on, just to make it short, Black loses this game when he's supposed to win. And he's heartbroken and moves back to Taiwan never to be seen again. So it was a very meaningful game. And there were four moves in this game. Uh, man, it's going to take too long. It just crossed my mind. I thought, oh, it would be fun to see. Uh, but let's see if we can just catch a few of them. Uh, black, white, black, white. Uh, here in the bottom left, white's alive. Great, white's alive. I can go away. Well, but white doesn't. Because a lot of you know this. A few of you have seen this in another video. This black move makes black very thick in Zente. How many points is associated with this move? Well, there's a few. Black gets a few, and if white plays it, white gets a few, but 10 maximum. But it's, uh, so white plays here, right? So uh, it's a power move. Uh, it uh, pretty much forces black here. We, uh, go see the video. You'll find it in, I don't know, the playlist, special games. Um, notice how this starts working on the cut. Uh, so white's response is here. Do you see how A and B share a they look incredibly small, and yet they have great power and thickness. So let's, uh, I'm going to jump ahead to no, I'm not. We're going to stop there because I'm, I'm playing them out of order anyway. I'd have to start the game all over to do that. So we saw a little tiny nothing, but uh, just power plays where you, you get roots. I just showed you the 40-point reverse Comey game with uh, George. Showed you a few moves of it. And I played two moves in that game that were really slow looking, but they allowed me for the rest of the game to really take powerful action. And uh, he said, you know, during the game, I thought those were like, what's he doing playing those for? But then they came back, you know, yeah. 
Okay, that was uh, a video on clamps. That, if it helps, great. I wouldn't expect it to. Okay, catch you all later. Bye.